it's your boy Rico, uh, Val's official cameraman. Um, and this is an update just uh, specifically for you. Uh, my name is Rico, I'm coming all the way from Brooklyn. And uh, I've been on the road with Val for probably about the last six months. What we're gonna do now is introduce you to the new episodes. So we're gonna start doing these lottery ticket webisodes. So here is the first exclusive clip to the lottery ticket webisode. Bow Wow in New York. Check this out. So we can see how big this shit is. Nigga, this shit like a parachute bag, nigga. Look. That shit clean as fuck. How much that bitch cost? Nigga, when I tell you, you're gonna be like, nigga, I'm going to date. That's about it. Nigga, like. How much I pay for this bag? Like twelve hundred? Yeah, nine like, like, like nineteen. Uh, next month, August twenty. This nigga, that nigga D Wade, D Wade staying in the Miami, and Chris Bosh coming here. Nigga, LeBron come here, nigga. It's gonna be crazy if that nigga come here, man. Where you think he gonna go? I mean, they say they. I've been hearing niggas say he's supposed to go to Chicago. Yeah, that's what they were saying too. Yeah. But I think he. Where you think he gonna end up going? That nigga, he gonna either stay in Cleveland or he gonna go to New York. I mean, at this point, I really don't feel like heading to the airport. But it's just something that I know I have to do as a part of my job to travel and to be places that you know I might not necessarily feel like being in. But I do it because I love it. So I'm actually making my way to the airport as we speak. I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just something about Miami. I was like, you know what, man, when I first started making money, I was like, man, I want to move down here. You know, I just always heard about, like, Star Island and, you know, the beautiful women and how the weather is always nice. I'm like, yo, who wouldn't want to live there? Like, how, if that's the closest thing to paradise, then I want to be, I want to be there. You are now listening to a slim exclusive. I love New York in the summertime, that's when it's like the best. And New York is in the summertime. You got the fish eye too? Every time I come to New York, I always love to come around this time. I always around the summertime. I like New York a lot. It's always been like one of my favorites. It's gotta be Nicky on the countdown. Yeah. Yep. 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 Snapbacks, all that. Hot, ill fit the sneakers. You already know what it is, man. Good look to Bow Wow. Salute. <laughs> I mean, I really don't know what it is. Like, <laughs> I mean, I, no matter where I'm at, man, I always have to make sure that there's room for shopping. I feel like it's just a part of who I am. I feel like it's just a part of, you know, my the way I dress is, is my appearance is very important. I feel like at all times, even when the cameras are not on, I gotta be fresh. Like I don't know one dude or one kid who you know never wanted to be, who didn't want to go to school fresh with the fresh J's. I remember just you know 
ironing my clothes before before school, you know, the night before and setting them out. And, you know, I, in Columbus, we used to switch. Like when the Jays would come out, Rico, we would actually switch our shoelaces. You know, like I was into all of that, changing the color of shoe, shoestrings and, uh, you know, making sure that they was dope. And even when my Jays would get dirty, I would have a brush and I would just scrub them. Like I was always that dude. Even to this day, I'm the same way. It's gotten worse now because of who I am and I'm able to get the things that I want, but hey, look, look, Rico thought I was tripping right here, y'all, because, okay, I went in the flat floor, and I had some $1,300 tax to make it, and I took them out for the Bow Wow, are you moving around, Young Money? Are you like, are you doing all of the Young Money things that happen? What happens yeah. when you become part of this crew? It's, it's, <laughs> man, I'm gonna tell you, it's crazy because like, we're so busy and you know. You don't and, see everybody that much. Nah, either. you really don't. Like me and Drizzy all the time. Like a lot of people, they might not know me and Drizzy. We the same age. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So of course, me and Drizzy, we talk all the time. Tune, of course, which is Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Stunner. That's like an everyday thing, you know what I mean? But um, oh yeah, shout out to uh to Wayne. I visited him the last time I was here. I went to Rikers and, and sat down. And it was it was a crazy, it was a, a weird experience, man, to see him like that. Cause you know what I'm saying when when you yeah. when you generally when you generally care for a person, uh, you know what I mean? You see your partner like that, it's like dang, it's like reality kind of sets in even for you. Just what he look like? What he look like? Uh, same Wayne. But nah, it was cool. He gave me a lot of advice, and you know he, he said it's up high. We get out, it's gonna be like you know. All the time. Yeah. Good seeing you again. Yeah, Thank you. Good. Yeah, right? Good. Thank you. Good. 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 Good.